I'm today here with Ricky Dreesey, business analyst for Southern Journal Insurance Company from Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you, Ricky, for spending some time with us today to discuss Cogitate's innovative claims fraud network analysis or CFNA solution. Ricky, can you give us uh, some insight to how this tool differs from other competitive or comparative tools that you explored in all this time uh, before finalizing on claims CFN. All right, great. Um, well, first off, thank you for having me today. I really appreciate being here and having the opportunity sure. to talk about CFNA. It's a tool that we've been using and I, and I really do enjoy using it very much um, in our claims department. Um, so over the years, I have used a lot of um, fraud tools that are out there, um, some older ones, and then some of the newer ones that have come into existence today. I've looked at them, explored them as options, um, and we finally settled on CFNA. Um, one of the things is that CFNA has a, um, an AI-based um, algorithm that learns with the more information that you're putting in, the more accurate the information becomes later on. Um, and it's going to catch everything, anything from your your simple vehicle in a prior loss all the way to your your innovative fraud rings that they have nowadays. It's going to find all of that. It's going to the network part of it. Um, so that with that, on top of the slick design, it's very user friendly design that allows my investigators to work in the system use it as part of their daily workflow really helps out. And it's so user-friendly, the amount of downtime in learning this product is minimal. So my investigators are, are using it, you know, usually on day one, when, when, they, when I get them in and they start working, they're able to start using the product. So those two things alone set it apart from anything I've seen out there today. I'm, I'm glad. To you and team are enjoying the rich user experience that is core to all of our products. So, but uh, what about the accuracy? So, you know, how, how do you find accuracy of the tool in identifying the frauds? So, well, in a nutshell, I mean, the accuracy is amazing. And then let me just kind of give you a little bit of background too. Historically, you know, I've been a SIE manager, I've been an investigator, done pretty much both of those jobs through a long career in the insurance industry. And you can, I can go periodically to an analyst and ask for, you know, give me a list of all the claims that were uh, a lost date that's within 30 days of the policy period. And I'll find you, you know, maybe 10 out of a hundred claims that probably need a little bit more investigation. And that's fine. But that's a list and that's manual and that's me as an investigator taking my time to look through those lists. Now this tool does that. It does that on its own. It'll look through that list, maybe a thousand other lists that it detects as possible issues um, that need additional investigation work on them. And what I'm getting back, well, one is more time for my investigators they're good, and we're getting 95% accuracy out of those claims that are coming back as flagged for having some type of fraud element to them. 95% of the time they're accurate. And out of those, only 20% we're seeing are false positives. That means my investigators are spending more time actually investigating claims with fraudulent elements. Better use of their time, better use my time looking through what they're sending me and overall it's just a better environment for an investigator to be able to have this tool available to them great so so that's definitely means you know you and your team have very happy with the accuracy but then let's come to a return on investment so from your perspective you know how did it meet your target roi and if it has, then how long it has taken to meet your targets? So, um, the tool um, has been 
extremely prof. I mean, it's, it's worked out very well for us in that um, we're being built on a monthly basis for this tool. And you can really hit the ROI with one claim a month if that's all you're aiming for. But let me just, let me, let me go back to an experience that we had when the tool first went into um, production with Southern General. Um, the, the tool was implemented, started using it. And, you know, with the fresh implementation, the tool was looking at, you know, new claims and some of our more recent claims that we've already just taken care of and paid. Um, so with that, we're, we're looking through some of these claims and one of them um, that flagged as fraudulent was a, um, is a hit and run claim. And we service this claim so well for our insured. Our insurer reports the claim, get the appraiser out, estimate completed, and we pay our insured, put them in a rental within, we're all within five days. Wow. I mean, excellent. That's a good service. Yes, yeah, great service, great claims work um, on our end. Well, the fraud tool detected there, there's a fraud element there. What it found was that that vehicle had been involved in a prior claim, maybe like a month before they reported it to us. So. Same damage same damage wow. so had we properly investigated that claim and not paid that claim we would have already had our return on investment for that month with That's that right. one claim but let me tell you we're not we're not going after one claim and, <laughs> and the tool is not so. <laughs> the tool is not finding one claim one claim a month it's finding you know many claims a month so at the rate we're going now we're going to hit ROI within six to seven months of our first year. Our first year, which also includes the implementation cost. So by next year, I give it two or three months and we'll, we'll hit ROI for a whole year. Well, I'm glad actually, and that's what we really, that's how we want to serve our customers. ROI should come within first three to six months in the first year. Of course, second year onwards, as you mentioned, it's a matter of first or a second month and we are out of the ballpark there. Thank you so much. And uh, Ricky, one co last question before I let you go. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, how likely are you to recommend this tool to your peers in the insurance industry? I'm gonna go with an 11 out of, out of 10. I'll take, I'll take that. Yeah, we'll go with an 11. Um, the, the return on investment, that's one big factor, and I and I really do love that because in any claims environment, that's you know that's going to be one of the big factors. Yes. But on top of it, and I have a lot of friends in SIU units, you know, in multiple insurance industries, uh, co companies that are all within the Atlanta area, and they know as much as I do that this tool is when when they see it we will see that it's light years ahead of some of the competitors that are out there and they'll be as impressed as I was when we first started using it. Thank you so much, Ricky, for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.